This programme is sponsored by Triona Design, the Donegal Tweed and Visitor Centre Ardra County Donegal. Trionadesign.com Kathy Donaghy and welcome to Donegal TV from Glenvay Castle. Coming up on this week's programme, Boston fights back against cancer. We hear about Cancer Connect Ireland, a cross-border charity helping children affected by cancer. And action. And we go behind the scenes for the making of the movie A Shine of Rainbows, which was filmed in Malin. But first, we're here at Glenvay National Park for the launch of the new Donegal Film Office website, which aims to be the first port of call for national and international filmmakers. Using its stunning scenery as a unique selling point, Donegal is hoping to capitalise on a big upturn in the film industry with the launch of a new film office website for the county. One of Donegal's biggest stars of stage and screen believes the place has lots to offer. Well, the obvious thing is the landscape. Uh, I mean, that's it's just so evident, like, you know, from the south of the county down Tullin Strand, like, through Ballyshannon, all the beaches all the way around the coast, and, you know, the, the, the architectural heritage, like the, um, the Green and the Vallach, and, you know, down south of Loch Derg, uh, all of those things, but also you have, uh, historically, um, you know, you have the biggest fishing port in Ireland, a lot of small fishing communities around here. And it's not just the places that make Donegal a special place to make films and TV programmes. It really is a unique place, you know, and it, maybe it takes events like this to remind ourselves of what a wonderful place we, we, we were born into. Filmmakers need to be dragged out of their comfort zone and shown places like this. So, so yeah, I think, it's, I think it's very important. It's hoped the new website will be a one-stop shop for location managers scouting out places to make movies. We're trying to provide uh, a quick way for location managers to find the ideal spot to basically run a shoot. So if you imagine that um, the Film Office website essentially will provide a huge range of locations available in Donegal for shooting and we're hoping that when locations managers initially start the search that they'll see Donegal Film Office website as the first stop. Over the years, the Donegal Film Office has been on hand to help filmmakers with some most unusual requests and requirements. Got a call one morning uh, in the middle of a shoot uh, from the production resources person to say, is there any chance you could find us black-faced sheep not sure and that have worked with a dog? And in a second you say, yeah, sure, and then you go off the phone and go, ooh. But basically, I mean, that's what we're trying to, I suppose, show is that we do have the connections. I mean, we had those sheep on set within an hour where you left the phone to a local farmer and you say, can we can we have your sheep, basically? Um, and it is, I mean, you do have that local information is just, it's absolutely paramount in order to be able to develop um, any kind of production locally. With Donegal, people talk often about the weather and about the weather inhibiting things and the weather, you know, maybe influencing how film is done. Uh, I mean, what I, we find with filmmakers is that weather doesn't really influence to any great extent. Uh, I mean, in fact, you know, they come here irrespective of what the weather is doing. We had a very funny situation a number of years ago. We were 12 weeks of unbroken sunshine and there was a requirement for a big uh, rain, you know, in the middle of a, of a shoot. And basically they ended up having to bring in, you know, artificial rain in order to, you know, create what they needed uh, during this dry spell. So, I mean, it's, it's quite incredible that, you know, Donegal basically doesn't always behave the way that you think it might um, in terms of weather. It's hoped that new tax incentives will improve Ireland's competitive position as a film location. And it's hoped this new website will put Donegal in a strong position to win major TV and film projects. Donegal has joined a, a small and elite crew, if you like, in launching its own website. There are very few other regional film offices that, that have a website at this point. So Donegal's Dunne placing itself in a very strong position to benefit from and what is a thriving Irish film and television industry. That growth potential, I think, is going to be driven through 2015 and beyond through the introduction of the new 32% tax credit, which government put in place from the 1st of January this year. I think that that has the potential to attract big international movies and big international TV series. 
um, and I think Donegal and the launch of the new website and um, place itself in a very good position to benefit from that opportunity. So what are the things that set Donegal apart for location managers looking for a stunning backdrop? Filmmakers, uh, location managers and their producers, when they move outside Dublin Wicklow to film, um, are to some extent maybe taking a step into the unknown. They may not have filmed in a county before, they may not have filmed in Donegal before, and they um, need uh, inevitably need an information resource, a way of a quick and easy way to find local cast and crew, to find other service providers, to find um, hotels that are willing to uh, to do a deal. And um, Donegal Film Office already provides that service. The website, the new website, is really providing a shop window um, to that suite of services. And so I think the resources, this new resource, is going to make a big difference. The County Council is hoping that the development of the website will reap rewards for the local economy. Donegal is a very strong brand um, and it's a brand that we promote through all our different uh, community con culture and enterprise uh, events and, and the different policies and work that we do in those areas. And I think that that's beginning to pay dividends. You have to spend to accumulate. It's about providing the environment that allows those within the industry or that to come and access our services um, and ensuring that, that when they come here that we're able to provide a top class service and I think that that's what we are able to do and we're just making sure that people all know about it. There's no doubt that Donegal has huge potential as a movie location and director Vic Saren was very impressed with Inishon when he filmed A Shine of Rainbows here. Donegal TV caught up with the stars Aidan Quinn and Connie Nielsen as well as other cast members and crew. Keith Fletcher has this report. Welcome to Corey, lad. <laughs> he hardly says a word. Give him time, Alec. Everything here is so strange to him. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not know she has a special powers? They can find spirits who have passed on. Don't stare at them. Attorney to stone. Ah! You're disappointed. I don't see why you chose the run to the letter. Rehearsing and action. Donegal recently benefited from the production and shooting of a major film starring Aidan Quinn and Connie Nielsen. The film, A Shine of Rainbows, tells the story of an orphaned boy whose life is transformed when he moves to an island off the Irish coast. Filmmakers said that they found the perfect location. I must tell you that I'm very fortunate and blessed that I had uh, uh, lovely weather and wonderful people and all the locations. God, they're amazing locations. So what attracted me here was the locations and the people and both have turned out to be absolutely fantastic. Vic, uh, you know, they're, they're a Canadian film company. They were blown away by the location. Um, I know that another film company, um, are, they're shooting in, in Newfoundland, but they were looking for something like this here and I, I would imagine that he'll go back and he'll tell people about locations like that. I know I've worked with another German film company always looking for really nice locations and Donegal just has it, it's just phenomenal it, and particularly when the sun shines it is the most beautiful place with the cliffs and the, and the, the bog areas and the thatched cottages you know for, the, for that genre of filmmaking it's perfect. This film will help uh, even other you know not independent filmmakers to come and then use this place because the canvas here is so rich it's so wonderful, and it'll be a shame not to use it. You know? I think you know the importance is is the amount of money that it brings in into the community, and the amount of jobs, and the amount of houses that get rented, and so it does bring an awful lot of money into the community and jobs. So uh, th that's that's very important, obviously, in these times of uh, recession and with the downturn in the building trade and everything like that. It's going to become more important, I think. So 
it's a, it's a very good thing. One of the aims of the Irish film industry is to bring productions like this to the country. And the Donegal Film Office hopes that this will be the first of many. This is probably our first major feature film in a long number of years um, and getting somebody like Aidan Quinn and Connie Nielsen to star has just been overwhelming for the county. Um, it's lifted us into a new dimension in terms of filmmaking and we're very hopeful that this is the start of an awful lot more to come. It's an individual thing really and it's a personal thing for me. Pers I think it's, you know, um, you make great contacts and everything and you know, you work with people from the north as well so a little bit closer and hopefully work on with them again. <laughs> The stars have been enjoying their stay in Donegal and working hard on their accents. It's been wonderful. It's such a pretty, pretty landscape and uh, it's a wonderful backdrop to our story. So we've had a grand time. It's the first time I've ever been to Ireland. Oh, we've enjoyed it so much. Everyone has been so nice and the weather has been very agreeable. We've been so lucky with the weather. Oh, it's been a doddle. It's been um, absolutely amazing. The weather's been incredible. The people in Donegal. Uh, the hospitality has been superb, the Guinness is good, uh, the crack is mighty, as they say. <laughs>
you know, it's it's been two years in the making when we when we thought about it at the start. Uh, you know, after I met Len Forkos at of Hope Cam in America, and and how he impacted and influenced me to try and press on and see could we do it here. Um, you know, we've we've gone twice to the race across America, failed once, successful this time, and and we've managed to progress it to a point where we've actually started today. It's easy to keep rolling a starting point on and. Uh, you know, as, as, as the steering group that we've got here with Shane Wallace and with, with William Allen and Tony Cully Foster and myself and whatever, we all agreed that we would keep the project simple. So everything about it simple right down to our logo, how we're behaving, how we're trying to interact with the families, just keep it all simple. Because at the end of the day, these are kids who are sick. It's families who are beaten up already. We don't need to beat them up anymore. We need to try and help them. I can see this work and I think it has huge potential. Um, it's just getting everybody to work together, I suppose, and try to make it happen. Yeah. But I think it's great potential. Hello, Shauna. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. And, and excited about this project, oh, Shauna? Great, great. We've been awake since 6.30 this morning. <laughs> iPad day, so. <laughs> so it's great. It's a Lovely. wonderful initiative. And we're delighted to be part of it and delighted to hopefully pilot a successful project for, for the area. It's great. And what's this young lady's name? Maya. Maya. And have you have a nice new iPad to take home with you now, Maya? Yeah. Are you happy about that? Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to be teaming up with all your schoolmates, are you? Yeah. It's a great, great, great project, you know. Uh, very much needed for the legs of Sean now, you know. It uh, helps out greatly with school if he's missing school. Um, he's not going to fall behind. He can keep in contact with the teacher and do his work. So when he goes back to school, he doesn't feel that he's missed out on any of the lessons. He's there at the same place everybody else is with his lessons. So it's, it's absolutely brilliant for Shane, yeah. And I'm sure it's going to be exciting for his schoolmates as well. Something new. We were talking to Jane Reynolds there. So obviously it's something very new for the class as well to have this guy who's not directly with them but with them in a very different sort of a way. Oh absolutely yes, uh -huh. children and technology they just absolutely love it so it'll be a brilliant you know a brilliant new thing in the classroom you know and that there is another child that's you know keeping up with them but in a different way. Um, Sean Gallagher. Um, Where are you from Sean? I'm from uh, County Donegal. Yes. Guidor I think Yeah Guidor yeah. And which school do you go to Sean? Uh, Lunya. Lanya, yeah, Lanya School. Okay. And I'm sure you have a lot of friends there, do you? Yeah, 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 have a lot of friends too. Yeah. So you're looking forward now to teaming up with them now to, on your on your new iPad. Yeah, yeah, look forward to that. Yeah. Hi, hey Sarah. Had you a nice date here today? Ah, uh, yeah, good. Yeah. And you got a brand new iPad, Sarah. Yeah. What have you to say? Um, it's a, uh, and she likes it. And like it. You like it very much. Yeah. 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 It's going to make a big difference, is it? It'll be lovely now for her, and especially for the wee friends at school. And she's very good with technology. Yeah. So it'll be yeah. brilliant, and it'll keep her in touch. And it'll, more important as well, let the wee ones in the school see how things, and it'll not be such a shock, you know, to them. Of course, of that course. That she'll not be as isolated. Yeah. And you know, so. Yeah. We and we even we travelling to Dublin mm. and stuff, or when we're in Crumlin. Of course. Be brilliant. Brilliant. And, and we tend to forget, Jimmy, how good the kids are with the technology, so it's sort of second nature to them. It, it seems to be they just, uh, they're just they brought up with it now, and whereas the rest of us struggle a bit or whatever now, they, they seem to have a handle on it. Yeah. And uh, has, has missing school been a big issue up to this? Um, I suppose we're concerned initially about her being sick, but now that she's better, or um, well, certainly in better form, and that would like her, you know, to continue on with her education as much as possible. We are so excited about it, and I'm delighted on behalf of the Irish Cancer Society, and in particular on behalf of Really for Life Donegal Committee, who are instrumental in bringing this whole concept to Donegal. We're really excited because it's hugely important for kids to remain connected during this difficult time. I know as a adult survivor how isolating cancer can be, but um, uh, because adults aren't good at conversing one, one another but children are they overcome all the awkwardness and the barriers that they face so if they're given the opportunity to connect with one another they will and it's uh, it's great from the sick child's perspective and it's great from their friends perspective because this will help educate schools and introduce cancer in a, a non-threatening manner and they'll, it will help them to understand that young people do get sick and that they do have cancer and that that is the reason why they're out of school and hopefully it'll be for 
a short time and that they'll be able to reunite then quickly again. We're here today, some six months on from my first Met Joe, and we've launched the first set of iPads. Um, vitally, vitally important service for the families who are going to use them. These young people who have been stricken with cancer, who are socially excluded from their schools and from their communities because of their illness, yeah. and in many ways socially excluded from their own family members. Um, the use of the iPad now and the use of the internet will allow them to connect within their schools, stay in touch with their peers, uh, get their school, school work home and indeed keep connected with the wider world as well because the internet connects us with everybody now and we're all on social media, we're all on Facebook and Twitter and you name it, WhatsApp and what's going on out there so I think it's a very, very important. We never know uh, when it's going to land on one of our own school's doors, you know, and many of them probably are in this situation and um, I think, you know, our schools in Donegal and, and Derry, they're very progressive and the teachers, you know, are... Um, they're very open-minded to the types of things that are needed in schools and I think the, the standard of the education um, over the last 10 or 15 years in primary education in particular I think has really risen. Um, they're achieving high, very highly academically and on the sports fields and stuff like that and I think they'll, gri I think they'll grip this and take it, take it and move it forward and help Joe and his team for the make it into you know a national project that will be um, that'll be so beneficial to so many people going forward. So there you have it. Cancer Connect Ireland has been launched here in Derry today. It's a joint project between Donegal and Derry and hopefully will be a very successful one. This is Charlie Collins for Donegal TV at the Seagate Complex in Derry. Boston is fighting back against cancer with the fourth annual Boxing at the Bay event scheduled for the 28th of March. The fundraiser is the brainchild of Donegal native Mark Porter, who so far has raised over half a million dollars for US cancer charities. In 2005, Mark was diagnosed with cancer and faced an uncertain future for both himself and his family. He vowed that if he lived, he would spend the rest of his days devoted to helping others in the same predicament. Thanks to treatment, the Donegal man successfully beat the disease and since then has kept to his promise to do what he can for those who need it most. His efforts include running nine consecutive Boston marathons, as well as taking part in numerous fundraisers, along with organising the popular annual charity boxing event, Battle at the Bay. Mark, with the help of his family, his friends and the Boston Irish community, has raised several hundred thousand dollars for local cancer charities. Ten years ago, I had cancer. I had a lot of friends, and all my friends gathered around me. And we decided that someone took the time and the effort so that me and everyone else like me got cured. And me and my friends, we decided that we were going to do something. And we ended up, we, I done a few marathons and the guys helped me and we, we raised a lot of money. And right now we're somewhere around $500,000. And that's not because of what we've done, that's because of what you've done. Because we didn't do nothing. All we did was shake up all our friends and shake them down. And we got money out of it, you know what I mean? Now I can tell you about all the work we're doing and how great it is. But the fact of the matter is, we have, right here tonight, we have Ireland, two of Ireland's biggest sports stars. Without a doubt in my mind, these two guys are going to be world champions in the next couple of years. This year, all monies from the fundraiser will benefit Porter's own foundation, Let's Stop Cancer. The foundation helps individuals and their families battling cancer with the practical challenges they face, like meeting mortgage payments, covering shopping costs and any other day-to-day -day issues that the organisation can help the family with to alleviate their worries. To help launch the Battle at the Bay 2015, organisers hosted a special event recently with appearances by two of Ireland's biggest sporting exports, UFC fighter Conor McGregor and Irish professional boxer Jason Quigley. Great to be here today, so it is, you know, Mark and everybody got uh in touch with me to come down here to the Battle of the Battle of the Bay, which is absolutely a great event. You know, a great cause for the charity of cancer. A lot of families, I'm sure a lot of people in here might even have had it, had once passed away from it. You know, so to be able to give back to this great cause is uh, absolutely brilliant. And to come down here and help with it and all the young kids over there, Jack and Connor, to see the smiles on their faces, that's what it's all about as well. And I just want to wish everybody in the event all the best. You know, I was chatting to the lad there a wee while ago. He's in at the heavyweight division, 42 years of age. And uh, <laughs> I've no real advice for him but to keep his hands up. <laughs> How are you, everybody? Thank you for coming out. This is sweet. Here, Connor. Hello. I don't think you. Do you want a mic? 
Um, or do you want somebody to take you on? I don't know, yeah. Let's, I'm better at fighting than talking if you want to come in a chance here. Let's hear from Conor McGregor. Thank you, everybody. I, I am blown away here. I don't even know what's happening. Pipe bands and everything. This is fucking brilliant. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. So I'd love to get in pictures and sign some stuff or whatever you guys want. I, I am truly grateful for you being here. So whatever you want, I am here. Thank you for taking your time out of your busy schedule to come here and show all, show all these guys what you've got, who you are and what you are, and how proud you are to be an Irishman. And trust me when I tell you, every Irishman in Boston, you're carrying all our hopes and spirits when you walk into the ring next week. And Mr. Your, your opponent, he'd be walking in and he'd be happy, and he'd be walking out with his ass in the bag. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, sir. That, I got goose pimples in there, Anna. Thank you so much. The launch took place at the popular Peter Welsh Gym in South Boston and was a chance for the Irish community to meet with two of Ireland's biggest sporting exports to the United States. I mean, there, there is no secret to success. All you must do is show up. Show up to blow up, that's what I say. And the more time you put in, um, the better you become, it's that simple. If you find something that you are passionate about and you find something that takes up all of your time, encourage it, embrace it, and, and put the work in, and anything is possible. Ken Casey from Dropkick Murphys dropped in. For anyone who's lucky enough to be involved in you know, the charity work that goes on in this city, tight-knit community, and people look after each other, and uh, you know, Mark and all the guys that do the Battle of the Bay uh, doing an amazing job. It's. Uh, Two years ago, one of my good friends fought and he got his face punched in and I loved it. I loved every second of it, you know, and, um, but uh, to see what people go through to, uh, you know, to, to help raise money is, is one thing to write a check. It's another thing to train for a few months and get in and uh, fight in front of a couple of thousand people. And mark my words right now, after I take off about 25, 30 pounds, I'm going to fight you, Mark Porter, next year, all right? <laughs> on camera. <laughs> MC for the event was another Donegal man, Kevin Doherty. The fourth edition of the Battle of the Bay takes place on Saturday, March the 28th, 2015 at the Dorchester Armoury. Charlie Collins, Donegal TV, Boston. That's all for this week's programme. Thank you for watching. Remember, you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter or log into our website at donegaltv.ie. From me and all the team at Donegal TV, Slán August Bannock. This programme is sponsored by Triona Design, the Donegal Tweed and Visitor Centre Ardra County Donegal. Advertise now on Donegal TV. Broadcasting worldwide. Email info at donegaltv.ie or call 00353-8646-3770. Donegaldaily.com, Donegal's largest news website. For up-to-date news, sport and events from Donegal, click donegaldaily.com. Colab, turning knowledge into enterprise. Home to your new business idea. Located at Letterkenny Institute of Technology. Create your own future and choose Colab as the home for your innovation and technology business idea. Visit colab.ie. Your business journey begins here. Hyundai is Ireland's fastest growing car brand. See the full range of new Hyundai models and a wide selection of used cars at T. Diver and Sons Limited Canal Road, Letterkenny. 00353 7491 Celebrating 30 years in the motor business, Diver's Garage with Hyundai, Ireland's fastest growing car brand.
Advertise now on Donegal TV. Broadcasting worldwide. Email info at DonegalTV.ie or call 00353 86 